Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Trucker John Show. Left. Yeah, so we made our delivery in Saratoga Springs. Couldn't show you that delivery because it was a government load. Or a government facility, I should say. And one half mile turn left. No, oh, no cameras, no cell phones, no nothing. But we're empty now, and it is 10:20 now, and I am on my way up to Champlain, New York, to pick up, pick up a load, and that is going to be going down to Winchester, Virginia. So it's going to be a live load, and then it's going to be a drop down in Virginia. So I'll drop the trailer and pick up an empty there. We should be in uh, Champlain by 12.45 anyway. We got to be there by 2, so get a little bit of leeway there. Yeah, so we'll be getting on the uh, Adirondack Northway. It's I-87. And going north just about up to the Canadian border and we'll get off there at Champlain and we'll be just a mile or two from where we got to pick up. Yeah, we got 146 miles to our pickup. I've been there many times before. Just not a lot lately anyway. There'll be another light load, usually under 10,000 pounds. Okay guys, the inspection station is open. standing there though. We got a bunch of them in there today.
All right, guys, so we got this pickup here in Champlain, New York. So we just uh, delivered Saratoga Springs this morning, came up here to Champlain. Gonna load here as soon as I get a door available and uh, take that to Winchester, Virginia. And basically that'll be a drop and hook there with another loaded trailer and go out to Charleston, West Virginia for uh, Wednesday morning. Yeah, we should be able to get a decent load out of that area. So we're close enough we can hop up into Ohio or over to Kentucky or somewhere like that. So we should be in uh, pretty good shape. Pretty warm out here still. It's uh, almost 80, pretty humid. Feels like it's gonna rain. I think it's gonna rain. Uh, it could be thunderstorms early this evening up this way. So uh, not too bad though. Still feels like summer. Okay, we'll talk to you in a bit. Alrighty, we are loaded, rolling. It is now oh seven minutes before three in the afternoon. Still at 79 degrees here in Champlain. Yeah, we'll see if we can make it to the uh, Petro truck stop in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Turn left. I'd like to get as far as I can. And then uh, tomorrow we'll drop and hook in Winchester, Virginia and head over to Charleston, West Virginia for Wednesday morning delivery. Sit. Yeah, we have seven hours and 54 minutes to drive. left on our driving clock for today. Just about the same on our 14. So I used to going right down 11 here. I gotta be careful I don't get off right here. <laughs> One more exit. 87 South.
All right, we are arriving at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It's uh, 1028 p.m. 76 degrees here. We've got 20 minutes left on our clock. We're going to get fuel and then park. morning guys it's the next morning and we had a good night's sleep had a shower this morning just went in and had uh, a meal in the restaurant just kind of killing some time taking some extra time on this break because I don't want to start my clock too early because uh, the load I'm picking up out of the same place is not gonna be ready till this afternoon so just kind of killing time getting ready to leave now though we'll be on the road here shortly We are just getting rolling. We got 123 miles to go. We'll be in Winchester right about 2 o'clock. 2 p.m. It's just a couple minutes before noon right now. Pretty nice day today. It's definitely cooler today and drier. You can feel like a lot of the humidity is gone now. Yeah, so we'll get down here to Winchester. And we're going or dropping this trailer at the Home Depot Distribution Center. And there's actually two Home Depot Distribution Centers in uh, Winchester, Virginia. So we're dropping this trailer at one and then we're picking up a load at the other one. Winchester now. It's about two miles from our delivery.
How, are you how are you today? Not too bad. I'm probably not in your computer anymore. You gonna need an empty? Yes, empty sir. Lunch. Yep. Okay. Immediate left for me here. Okay. Just need the two letters off the ground. Okay. Empties on the right hand side there. Yep, off right site lot. Yep, that's the gravel lot in the back. So um, just come back down here. You'll make two lefts and a right. That's how you get there. Alrighty. Thanks. All right, we got our empty trailer here. Just pulled it out between it by another trailer. And we got us a placard left on it. So there was a This one here. There was that one there and there was one on the other side which already took off. So somebody took two off and didn't take the other two off. And we're gonna get that strap up there. Yeah, might as well get this strap. Pretty good strap here, ratchet strap. Yeah, we're gonna have to recheck those. I slid the tandems up there all the way back. Kind of windy out. Still warm though. It's about uh, oh, about 10 miles down to the other DC to pick up the other load. We're just about three miles from uh, the other Home Depot distribution center where we're picking up at. Now this is still considered Winchester, but we're well outside the uh, city limits here.
You have seven hours and thirty-seven minutes of remaining drive. All right, all right. Okay, good news. My load is ready. I've already got the paperwork. They had it in the guardhouse already. So we got to go around behind the building here and drop our empty. And our loaded one is back behind the building as well. Okay, should be where the next empty spot is. Yep, 821, that's our spot. We gotta go in this spot here, right on the right. Take a look down there, clear. Kind of a little bit tight here, but you swing it right. I think I turned just a hair too late. Let's see. Be able to save it. I think I'm too far over. better. That looks better. I'm going to we'll have to pull up once. So my mistake I made there, I turned too late when I came in for the first run there. I did my U-turn. Turned a couple of feet too late, so I couldn't get the trailer lined up on the empty spot. So experience tells me to go ahead and abandon that attempt and get set up again, so that's what I did. Don't, don't want to try to fight it because you're going to end up running into something. So when you see your setup is bad, it's not going to work. Just start over again. So by pulling up and resetting up on the hole and letting the traffic clear behind me, there were some guys waiting. It made it a lot easier. And a lot less likely that something's going to happen. Hey, so we should be over in Charleston by about 9, 9.30 tonight, so. That would be 
give us a nice long break again for uh, tonight because we don't have to deliver it. Our delivery time is 9 a.m. tomorrow, so we have another 12 hour break tonight. That sounds good to we'll work on some video. Now you can see how tight the spots are here. It's just one truck length between the empties and the loaded trailers up against the building. You can see it looks like it's up there, but not really. See that space in between there? What will happen is if you hook, you get a high hook, and it might not quite hook right. You might be able to pull the trailer out and drive down the road a ways, but then it could fall off, which would not be a good thing. So, gotta make sure that fifth wheel is up against the trailer. So to do that, we gotta lower it. We gotta lower the trailer. I won't raise the landing gear all the way up yet off the ground because a trailer is not hooked yet. That wouldn't be a good idea either. In case something decides to go somewhere, the trailer would be right on the ground. All right, let's get out. Let's get out and do our pre-trip. Finish getting hooked up. We'll put a lock on here too. We're gonna be sitting in the Home Depot parking lot all night, so we're gonna lock her up. Okay, so this first line I'm putting on, this is the service line. This is a line where the, when you press on the brake pedal, the air goes through and puts the brakes on on the trailer. This second line I'm putting on is the electrical connection. It runs all the lights and uh, ABS and all that good stuff. And the third line I'm putting on is the emergency line. So what this does is when you air this line up, the red one, it uh, releases the spring brakes on the trailer. And the trailer has big springs in the brake chambers that push the brakes on when there's no air in there. There's a diaphragm inside that chamber. So when you air up the trailer and give it air, it pushes the springs off or pushes the brakes off and so the, so the trailer can roll down the road. And then when you apply your foot on the brake up front, Air comes through the other line, the blue line here, and uh, which is called the service line, will apply the brakes. Red line is called the emergency line. There might be another name for it, but I can't think of it right now. I've always called it the emergency line. But uh, yeah, that's what all those hookups are there if you're not familiar with it. And then when you see me go under here, what I'm looking at is the handle for the fifth wheel. That's the fifth wheel release. You want to make sure that's all the way in. That's why you always see me hit that with the hammer. And then you should always go underneath your trailer and look up at the uh, kingpin, which is probably hard for the camera to see. I can see it well. The kingpin is uh, from the trailer is down behind the jaw on the fifth wheel. So it's locked in correctly. It's in the right place. There's no uh, space in between it. Here's our landing gear, so we're gonna crank this up. I usually take it all the way up. This way if there's have a low clearance something somewhere, I don't hit it. And then we're gonna do a general uh, pre-trip on the trailer. Looking at all the lights turn signals. Gotta come under here. Look at the brakes. Look at the airlines. Look for anything broken loose or missing. We're looking at the tires. Checking out our tires. We're looking at the lug nuts in here. None of them are broken or missing or no obvious signs that they're loose which would be streaking. Looking at the mud flaps, making sure they're secure. And we're under here looking at the same thing. Looking at the brakes on the back axle. Look for anything broken, loose, or missing. Oh, 
I'm always looking at all the lights. Checking the top of the door, make sure it's latched in right. Same with the bottom. Make sure you have a license plate light, which we do. And that's a little loose, but that's all right. Check our seal. 7564. Lights are all good on the back. Everything looks good up the middle there. Yeah, so I forgot to bring my lock back. <laughs> Have to get that and put it on before I leave. Oh yeah, this data plate too. This data plate here should be on every DOT bumper. I think, I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's gotta be there, I can give you a ticket. I think it certifies the, the DOT bumper for whatever regulations. That tire is on the borderline. This one's a little better. All right. All right, I haven't, didn't find anything that's gonna put it out of service. So, just about ready to rock and roll here. What did I do with my lock? Here it is. Let's get that lock on before I forget. <laughs> sure is a nice afternoon here. Very nice. Nice and dry, a lot of the humidity is gone. All right, our lock's on. And our seal is good. Look at that number one more time. I don't know if that clicking noise is coming out on the audio, but uh, when I have it in test mode, it's testing everything. So that clicking noise is the ABS check going off every time it cycles, cycles the brakes. Everything's done outside. Just gotta fill out the rest of our paperwork and uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll here. miles to go and I'm gonna arrive there at 9.32. Made a little delay there at the gate. Truck in front of me had the right seal number and everything but somebody whoever closed the doors on it put the seal on the wrong side put it on the left door. Of course if you're not familiar with uh, the trailer you might not know that the left, you know, the uh, right door, if the right door is closed, you can't open the left one. So you always got to close the left one first and then the right one gets closed. And that will prevent the left door from coming open. So, we had to wait for him to get a new seal. Alright, 
so now we do have another load to pick up tomorrow. I'll deliver this. Uh, it's a 9 a.m. appointment. Probably be done by 10. I have to go an hour away and pick up by 1 o'clock. I got to pick up eight cartons out of Davisville, West Virginia. And that's going up to Monroe, New Hampshire. Uh, to a egg processing facility there. In one mile, turn right. I've been there before, years ago. I never picked up the load. I, I did a save on a load going up to this place. I remember the name of it. It's uh, uh, Bert and Greg's. I remember it because it was a bad ice storm that day. And I was like a mile from the place and I couldn't make it up the hill. And cars were sliding off the road all over the place. And uh, I had to wait. We had to wait for a sand truck to come by and sand the road. And then I was finally able to get up to the plant. But I had saved the load. I had picked it up from uh, Wilkesbury. I can't remember if it was like a, some kind of repair shop. The guy's truck had broke down and I took the load on the rest of the way in. So the route we're taking, we're taking 81 south down to 64. We'll go 64 west. Back over to 77, take 77 north up to Charleston. So either go that way, the way I'm going to go, or I could have went right out of Winchester up 522 to 68, over to 79, and went south to Charleston. Now, uh, where I picked up at was about 10 miles south of uh, the center of Winchester, so the mileage is about the same. I think it was 10 miles further to come this way, but I put in Winchester as the starting point, and I was actually already 10 miles south, so roughly the same. They both have a lot of hills on them. I'm thinking this way, there's less hills. <laughs> There's a couple of good steep hills on 64 over here, and I guess a couple on 77, but uh, 68 is, you know, nothing but hills all the way across, so is 79. So, I prefer to come this way. I checked the traffic map, it didn't look like there was much going on either way, so, now if there had been a big traffic jam down this way, I would have went the other way. get down here, you know, 9.30, so I hope we get there right around 9.30. I got a lot of video to work on. I've been slacking off, haven't posted much on my channel. I mean, by the time you see this, I'll have some video back up, but uh, I've been just so busy, I just haven't had time. I actually ended up deleting a bunch of footage I had because it just got all my filing system on my computer needed to be uh, <laughs> changed because I got myself all confused with the dates and everything. So I dumped it all, started fresh. This will be the second video since I started fresh and this will be the second video that's a weekly video rather than a daily video. So I wanna try the weekly format again for a while. So the videos will be a little longer, but maybe a little bit easier to, to edit because you're only uh, doing the final edits on one video rather than one every day. So if I get in there, I can, if I get caught up, which I plan on doing tonight, as each day goes by, I'll add it to the video, and then at the end of the week, 
it'll make it a lot easier for me to get it uploaded and edited and, you know the final editing you know like the uh, opening closing all that stuff uh, we'll see gotta keep trying different things I just couldn't keep up with the daily the daily vlog because it's just too much work I got too much other stuff to do but I do enjoy doing it so I'm not gonna give it up I'm just gonna try harder to make it easier on myself Charleston. Just made a quick pit stop here at Walmart. Needed a couple of uh, items for the truck. We're just right uh, down the hill from the Home Depot I'm delivering to. It's up on top of the hill here to my left. We're going to go up there and park. And that's going to be the end of the day for today. It is now 10 o'clock. We got here right about 9.40. Turn left. It's 61 degrees right now.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. We'll see you again in the morning. Pretty nice out. Going to be good sleeping tonight. It's right about 60 right now. Beautiful. Okay, see you in the morning. Alright guys, we are empty here at Charleston, West Virginia, headed up to Davisville to pick up. It's 11.30, so they took a little bit longer than I thought they would unload. Looks like we're going to get to Davisville just before our appointment. Appointment's at 1 o'clock. Right now, GPS is saying we're going to be there at 12.52. Well, we should be all right. Yeah, I had to go into the Home Depot after I uh, unloaded and buy a new broom handle. Broke my broom handle. This trailer had to be nice and clean because uh, putting uh, food containers in it. Egg, egg, egg cartons are food containers, so it's got to be clean.
you, that road was a little rough there, huh? Right. All right, this looks like our right turn here. Straight down, straight down on the right. Okay, yep. I see a sign on the right. Pactiv, that's the name of the company we're going to. Warehouse office at Dock 13, okay. Let's see, straight ahead, packed a... All right, so we are checked in and we have a... Uh, Door assignment number two. Got to disconnect from the trailer and park over here. On the right, after we back in on the left. Door number two. Okay, they just called me. Told me my trailer's ready. I can hook up to it. We gotta bring it down to the office and uh, get a seal put on it. Right, I just uh, had to double check something here on my paperwork. The bills are saying uh, it was sold to the place that I'm supposed to be going to in New Hampshire, but the delivery was to a place in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. So I had to call and confirm. Yeah, they did divert this load to New Hampshire. So just wanted to double check. I was just waiting on that. Now we can get going. It is now... Uh, what is it? Three, almost 3.40 in the afternoon. And uh, ready to get the heck out of here. Get rolling. I'll figure out which way I'm going first. I don't want to go the way my GPS is telling me to go. So, let's see. We'll have to input some more info on that. Right now it's saying it's 812 miles that way. we got to find a different way to go, though. All right, we're rolling northbound on 77 here. Just ran some calculations before I left on uh, mileage. And actually, if we run 77 north, 
all the way up through Akron, Ohio, and catch uh, Route 8, pick up 271 out there in the Cleveland uh, suburbs, head out towards 90, come east on 90, it's only 15 miles further, probably a lot less aggravation, so we're going to go that way. it'll be even further because I probably ain't going to take 90 all the way across the, the New York State Thruway. It'll be about $100 in tolls. Go an extra 30 miles and run 86 across. And uh, there's no toll that way. So, for the extra mileage, I'm not going to burn $100 in fuel, so it actually works out cheaper to run the more miles.
that was a waste of time. They had the lights flashing, saying uh, truck inspection, but there ain't no truck inspection going on. I must have been in there earlier and uh, forgot to turn them off. Either that or somebody figure out how to turn them on. Okay, so we're all done for the day. We're parked here at the Walmart in Horseheads, New York. And uh, we got about 390 miles to go. We got all day tomorrow to do it. So we don't deliver till Friday morning. So we'll stop in Binghamton and get fuel and take a shower and then be up there tomorrow night sometime. Okay guys, we'll see you again in the morning. Good afternoon guys, we're just getting started here. Just leaving the Walmart in Horseheads, New York. Gonna head over to Binghamton, fuel up the truck, take a shower, and go on up to Vermont. Yeah, we should be up there around 10 o'clock tonight. Take our 10 hour break right there at our delivery and See what's going to happen tomorrow. So far, I haven't found anything. Well, we got uh, roughly 60 miles over to the TA truck stop in Binghamton. Looking forward to getting that shower. I didn't get one yesterday, got one the day before. Gonna stop last night and take a shower, fill up out in Ohio, but I got thinking about it and I looked at the uh, fuel discounts and with the uh, state tax taken off and everything, so my net cost was gonna be lower over here, so. Decided to hold off. I had enough fuel. I uh, still above a quarter tank now. Uh, hold off and get fuel here in New York at Binghamton. It's a couple miles out of the way because uh, normally I would get over here to 81 and pop north for one exit and get off on 88, but I gotta go south on 81 a couple exits to get to the TA. It's alright. We're not in any hurry, like I said. There's 380 miles I got left to the uh, delivery and we don't got to be there until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I'm going to go right up there tonight and park there. I've been there before, well, once. And they got a truck parking area. So, uh, we'll head up there, park there tonight, take a break, get unloaded in the morning. Maybe sit around there for an hour or two. If I don't really see anything happening, uh, you know, nothing coming up load-wise, I'll probably just dead head home. I also got my eye on uh, loads for uh, Monday out of my uh, home area. So far, nothing. Right in front of me there, that's the Frito-Lay potato chip plant. <laughs> Pulled some loads out of there with Landstar, but 
when I used to be leased to uh, Schneider, I did a lot of loads out of there. Took good paying loads then. Ah, what the f Ooh, sound like somebody wasn't happy about something. <laughs> they couldn't do this on the weekend like everybody else? Let's get our fuel, DEF, get a parking spot, get me a nice shower. Sounds good guys, yeah, sounds good. Alright guys, we just came out of our shower. Boy, that felt good. Just finished figuring out my fuel mileage, which is 8.02 on that tank. And uh, we're going to get on our way up to um, Monroe, New Hampshire. It is now 4.45. Yeah, we had to come south on 81 a little ways to get here to the TA. We got to go back north to get over to I-88. So uh, there was a big traffic jam earlier on the northbound side, and I just checked the map, traffic map, and it is now gone. So that's cool. We will uh, head out that way, and it should be in Monroe, New Hampshire, probably about 10 o'clock tonight. I called up there just to double check, and uh, you can park there. I think I, I remember that. I was there once before, a long time ago. So. I called up and they said, yeah, no problem. They told me where to park. So we're going to do that and we're going to get on the road now.
right, we have arrived at Pete and Greg's Organic Eggs. I'm going to go past the building here, I believe. There is. big snow plow right there. We're going to be needing that soon. Should be out of the way here, I'm hoping. <laughs> Hope so. Alright, so we have made it here to Monroe, New Hampshire. We'll probably get up about 7 and going down to the office down here, let them know I'm here. See what they want to do. If they want to unload me or not that early, I'm not really sure. I think I said between 7 and 9, something like that. Anyway, uh, got pretty foggy on the last part of the trip coming up here. And uh, I know I'd been here a few years ago and kind of was familiar, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> wasn't exactly sure, but the GPS brought me right in here, right perfect, so... That's good. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Hey everybody, it's now uh, next day. It is noon. I'm already unloaded. Been unloaded for about three hours now. Uh, just been sitting here seeing if I can find a load and I actually did just find something going to be headed out to Huntsville, Alabama, picking up Sunday. So I'm going to go home for the rest of today and tomorrow, and then pick up in Latham, New York, headed out to Huntsville, Alabama.
Well, we had a really good trip across Vermont today. It was real beautiful. The weather was good. There was uh, quite a bit of color out. Not peaking yet at all. Probably another two weeks for that. But uh, I'm sure the video didn't do it justice, but it was real nice. Anyway, we're going to end the video for the week here. And... Uh, we're going to be back next time with the start of our trip down to Huntsville, Alabama. I appreciate, appreciate you guys tuning in to the Trucker John Show. Come back and see me next time. Give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And think about subscribing if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, hit that bell so you get notified when I upload. Okay, guys, take care. We'll see you again next time on the Trucker John Show.